Um, we're actually here again. I don't know if you recognize us, but we were here on the on November 20th. And the reason we were here is with regards to a solar farm. Uh, at that point, there was no letter or anything that had been sent out. We were just kind of trying to get a feel for what the town could do for us. In the interim of time, we did, in fact, get a letter from Lodestar Energy dated November 20th. Um, in which they intend to file a petition for um, to the Connecticut Siting Council. It says in November of 2023, and the petition will seek the approval of the location, construction, operation, and maintenance of an approximately 1.93 megawatt solar photovoltaic project. Uh, this project is slated to, uh, for 141 Town Farm Road in Enfield. So again, I'm here coming to the council. I have the letter. I don't know if you guys wish to see this letter. I've made copies. I'd be happy to leave it on the table in the back. But um, we're just here to find out what the town can do for us. How can you help us in this matter? What can you do? Now we know it's officially going to be started, and we really need your help, your guidance. I also, there's some um, folks here from our neighborhood who are here as well, but they're not going to speak. But again, we're just very concerned. The location between my property, as I mentioned, like is about 30 feet from the edge of my property to where the actual field begins. If you Google or research, it says you should be at least 1.2 miles away from any solar farm, any actual uh, resident residency. So we're looking for, can we get help, someone to come in and tell us what if this is a okay? What are the you know health ramifications? So again, that's why we're here. We have the official letter now, so we just really need your help, Bobby. Okay, Barbara Audet, also known as Bobby Audet. I want to thank the council members that came to my house Saturday night, and we went over some of this. My concerns are we already have three power stations in town. We have the one over on Broadbrook Road. We have the one in Powder Hollow, and there's one going in by um, uh, off of Park Street on Moody Road. Enfield is 33.8 square miles. How many are we going to tolerate? And ours being in a neighborhood now. None of the others have been in the neighborhood. This house is across Town Farm. If they head those panels south, that's all they're going to have is a reflection. And how dangerous is it? I have big maple trees in my backyard. If a good storm comes through and one of those limbs comes down on those power grids, what is it going to do? What's the danger? We need help finding out who can help us. Can we stop this? Do we go to the state? Who do we go to the state? So we're asking for questions and answers. Please help us. And I yes. thank you for your time. Please help us. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Yes. There was a young couple that bought the farmhouse two years ago. They just got married. They have well water. They're in that big farmhouse right next to me. And they want to have children. They don't know now if they want to stay there. And they don't want to move. I don't want to move. But I don't want to live and see that going up in my backyard. Thank you for your time. Mr. Mayor. With the privilege of the floor, I don't want to comment. It's not a back and forth, but we did provide that letter to council when we received it. I've sent it to all of the staff. They're reviewing it. The town attorney, there were questions asked by Mr. Ludwig in regard to this. He will, under my report in a few moments, I hope you all stay, he will be making a report that I, I think will give you some of the information in a road map as to where we're going forward. So if you stay, the town attorney will be talking about that. Okay, we will leave the copies of our letter. But you're all set. You said you did receive We did, comments. and I, I shared it with the council. And I did also reach out to Carol Hall, our state representative. I haven't heard back from her as of yet, mm -hmm. but I did, right. in fact, reach out to her. So Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank right, you. Thanks. <laughs> Kelly Hemmer.